Getting started. You will need a power drill with a 1 quarter inch hex head driver or a Phillips screwdriver bit and a pair of scissors. Everything else is provided. In the hardware box, located within the face mount width trim box, you will find a Phillips screwdriver, a level, and a 7 16 inch open end wrench that also acts as a straight edge. In addition, there are four corner mounting brackets, 12 installation screws, fascia clips, and bracket spacers. Step 1. Installing the mounting brackets. The corner mounting brackets are designed for installation with both bullnosed and non-bullnosed style windows. For a non-bullnosed window that does not have a protruding window sill, remove the plastic clips from the brackets. Align the front edge of the corner mounting bracket with the face of the wall. The scalloped edge of the bracket faces the window. Using the wrench as a straight edge, ensure that the bracket is flush with the face of the wall. Secure it using three screws. Step 2. Assembling the frame. The width pack and height pack boxes contain the left, right, top, and bottom frames. Lay these pieces on the floor or a flat surface. Remove the rubber bands from the side frames that are holding the lower carriers in place. Slide the lower carriers up away from the bottom of the rails. Using the wall for support, attach the side frames to the top frame, making sure that the frame brackets are fully seated. Next, install the lift bar by aligning the tooth of the gear wheel on each side of the lift bar against the bottom of each side frame, keeping the bar even. Then press and hold the lift tabs on both sides of the lift bar and slide the lift bar up until there are at least five holes visible on each side of the frame. Next, install the bottom frame into the side frames and push evenly on both sides. After the frame is put together, making sure the tilt strap is not twisted, engage the carrier assembly by manually sliding the lower carrier down to lock into the lift bar. Do this for each side. Press and hold the tabs on the lift bar and slide it all the way down. Step 3. Installing the frame. Place the assembled frame onto the lower corner mounting brackets. Slide the frame side to side until centered in the window opening. Adjust the top and bottom bolts so the frame is centered top to bottom. Insert the level into the bottom frame to make sure the frame is level and make any minor adjustments as needed. Insert the level on the side frame to make sure the frame is straight up and down. Once the frame is level, use the 7 16 inch wrench provided to tighten the top bolts into the top mounting brackets. Step 4. Installing the louvers. Open the louver starter pack for the top and bottom louvers. Hold the bottom louver so that the label is on the top and at the front. Then slide the bottom louver into the bottom drive arm on the right side and snap the louver pin into the carrier on the left side. Locate the louver labeled top and follow the same procedure to attach the top louver. Check the tension by rotating the bottom louver to the open, horizontal position. The louvers should stay in that position. Adjust the tension if needed. Use the screwdriver provided and adjust the brake screw located on the bottom right carrier. Be careful not to over tighten the brake screw. Install remaining louvers, starting from the top, by first buttoning the tilt strap onto the pin at the back right of the louver and then snapping louvers into carriers on each side. Step 5. Installing the fascia trim. Open the face mount width pack and the face mount height pack for the fascia trim. Insert the fascia trim clips into the slots where marked, then twist one quarter turn clockwise to lock in place. Attach the side fascias to the top fascia by sliding the corner keys into the outermost grooves on the back until the miter joint is secure and even. To install the bottom fascia sill piece, first raise the tilt bar. Center the bottom fascia, then reach in to support the bottom frame with your fingers 
and snap the clips into the frame slot. With the louvers in the open horizontal position, center the top side fascia unit on the bottom fascia sill piece, allowing it to rest. Reach in between the louvers to support the side frame with your fingers and snap the clips into the frame slot. Start at the bottom of each side and then across the top. Privacy Clip Optional Feature If you wish to have the top part of your shutter open while the bottom remains closed for privacy, you can use the included privacy clip. Choose the bottom louver of the section you want to remain open. While holding the louver open, attach the privacy clip by hooking the back of the clip on the louver and then allowing the louver to drop down onto the clip. To rotate louvers, the lift bar must be lowered and locked. Grasp the bottom louver and rotate to the desired position. To raise louvers, rotate the louvers to the open position. Slide both lift tabs on the lift bar towards center and lift. Release the lift tabs to hold the louvers at any desired height. To lower louvers, slide both lift tabs on the lift bar towards the center and lower the lift bar until it is fully seated.